Hello there, YouTube friends and teachers. <clears throat> Today I'm going to do a very simple activity, which is called the screecher. Um, and basically it is going to focus on the idea of the vib vibration of membranes. And so you can do this activity when you are talking about sound. Um, you can do this when you're talking about the anatomy of the human body. And when you get to the larynx and the voice box, you can discuss how that actually works. Where does our voice come from? Um, and so basically the essence of the science is that air flows between our vocal cords and um, the vocal cords are a pair of tough membranes in the throat and when those cords vibrate sound is produced. So basically um, what you need to do is have some paper and some scissors. That's really all you need and the students of course. So paper and scissors and what you want to do is you want to cut out a piece of paper and you can pre-cut these if you feel like you're doing this with an age group that's too young or they make too much of a mess that's really up to you and so you want to cut out a rectangle that's about 10 centimeters by 5 centimeters and you will end up with a piece of paper that looks um, something like this now for those of you that are in the United States and do not use the metric system that could be about four inches long and um, two inches in width or height, however you want to look at it. And so um, four inches by two inches or 10 centimeters by five centimeters is fine. So once they have that piece of paper cut out, they then fold it in half like this. And then they take their scissors and they're going to cut a half circle in on that folded line. So I've indicated that there. So you fold the half circle, uh, cut a half circle, and the cut can be however they want to do it, but it should be in the middle of the paper. So they end up, you end up with something like this. Okay, once they've done that, they then open it up, and what you're going to do is you're going to fold forward to the, the two edges. Okay, very simply like that. And then you have built the screecher. So now what they need to do with it is that you're going to take it between your two fingers like this. And they're not gonna squeeze the fingers shut, but basically they're going to be next to each other like that. And then you're going to put your lips right here and blow. Now, it may not work on the first try, as mine just failed. However, you let the students give it a try and they should be able to produce a whistle. Um, it's gonna be like a shrill screech, kind of like a peacock screech. Um, and this usually does work. I did it before I did the video and it was working just fine. Um, but you need to maybe try holding it differently. Maybe open the fingers a little bit. Maybe squeeze them tighter. Maybe blow more gently. But you need to encourage the students to keep trying. Then you will be re rewarded with a shriek. There we go a little screech. So um, they will get the hang of it. They'll see where they need to place their lips in relation to the opening, how they need to squeeze their fingers, and how the air is going to blow. They, they will pick up on that, and soon you will be filled with a classroom full of screeching students. Now, um, basically, you could do a whole bunch of different things with this. Um, you could ask them to try it. What happens if you don't make a hole and let them give it a try? Um, what if you hold the two sides really far apart? What happens then if you try to blow? Um, make a couple of holes, smaller holes maybe. 
Um, change the size of the holes and see if you can hear different sounds. All of those things. Try a pinhole compared to a huge hole. Um, you could blow harder, blow softer. Um, what happens as the paper is actually vibrating? They should pick up on the fact that the paper will be vibrating. And as that vibration happens more, then the screeching sound will happen quite a bit more. Um, and now, once you've done this to illustrate what happens, you can then relate this back to vocal cords. Um, ask the students to compare their vocal cords to the screecher. Um, and then ask them, what do you think makes your voice louder or softer? Um, why do you take a deep breath when you shout? Um, how do you make your voice high-pitched versus low-pitched? Um, when you're breathing normally, why is there no sound? All of these things can are questions that you can then ask the students to consider or you can ask them to write about as a homework assignment. But this is really simple. It um, gets the idea across of how vocal cords work and the fact that sound is created through the vibrate, vibration. Ugh of membranes. There are a number of other activities that you can do. Um, you can make music boxes to talk about by vibration of membranes. You could bring in drums, different types of things that you can do. But this is something if you are in um, an area where there aren't many resources, surely there's scrap paper and you can just take that and do this. And this is really effective and it's fun for the students. So you're engaging them they're making noise, they're cutting, and they're also learning about their vocal cords. So hopefully that has been a very um, simple and helpful activity on the vi vibration of membranes and vocal cords and this really interesting screecher that you can make. Try it out ahead of time, um, see what happens, but um, yeah, this is a pretty, easy way to bring this concept across to students. Please leave your comments in the um, section below. If you have another activity, please um, put the link in there. If you um, want additional activities or help with something, please put those in in the comments below as well. If you like, like this video, subscribe to my channel, and that way you can get notifications when I upload new videos. I'm trying to create a bunch of science activities that teachers can use for any age to illustrate science concepts. So in the areas of chemistry, um, physics, which this one is physics, and then biology. It also can be used in biology. So we love the cross-curricular approach. So have a great week and see you in the next video.